Yo, what's up everyone? About two years ago, I made a video on a DVID to HDMI converter adapter and if it would work. And the conclusion was, it does work. But you guys had a lot of questions, like does it support 144 hertz and so on and so forth. There were about five main questions that you would pretty much ask on a weekly basis and I would have to answer them. So I thought to myself, why don't I just make a video on answering some of these questions so that you don't have to waste your energy commenting those questions. Anyway, this is that video, but before we get started, I just want to go over the HDMI converter real quick if you haven't seen that video got my phone right here so this is what it looks like it's got HDMI on one side it's HDMI 1.4 and then on the other side we got the DVI-D port notice how it has one pin and no pins around that it's 24 gold plated pins right here this is probably not actual gold but you know they say it is anyway it's got two thumb screws on either side to attach to your graphics card or your motherboard anyway this is the look at it now I have about five main questions that I'm going to answer and hopefully it answers your question. And if it does not, that is what the comment section down below is for and I will try to help you. Anyway, let's get right into it, starting with the first question. So the first question that we're gonna be answering is, does the DVI-D to HDMI adapter support 144 hertz on a monitor or 120 hertz? Let's find out. All right, first I'm gonna try my laptop. This one has HDMI 1.4, so I'm gonna take the HDMI and plug it in to my laptop and then into the adapter, which will be on the monitor. Just like that. So this also kinda answers the question, does it work backwards, vice versa? And yes, it does. So yeah, so if I just plug this into the monitor real quick. There we go, like so, now it should display. And sadly, HDMI 1.4 does support 120 hertz, but when it uses this adapter, the highest you can get is 60 at 1080p. Now you can drop the resolution, which I'm guessing you don't want to do. You have to drop it the whole way down to 1024 to even get 120 hertz. So I actually was sort of right, but also wrong. You cannot use 120 hertz at full resolution 1080p. Just to test this, I grabbed my desktop computer. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna use the DVI-D adapter in the back here and then HDMI over to the monitor. Let's see if I can get 144 hertz. Spoiler alert, I can't. Okay, so there we go, got it plugged in and showing up on the monitor right here. If we go to quick settings, real quick, advanced display settings, display properties, here we see the monitor can only go up to 60 hertz. Now if we hit adapter and hit list all modes, if we go up here a little bit, there's the 120 right there, 1024 by 768. That is when we can hit 120 hertz. So that is the limitations of this DVI-D port right there as, as you can see. So the highest resolution that you can get is 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. I didn't actually know that, now I do. I'm so glad I did this testing and hopefully that answers a lot of people's questions. And sadly, it does not support full resolution 120 hertz or 144 hertz for that matter. Anyway, on to the next question. Now the second question that I'm gonna be answering is does the DVI-D to HDMI adapter support audio or like audio pass-through? All right, so I got it plugged into this desktop computer into here. There are speakers in the monitor. Now let's see if we can get some sound out. Hold on one second. Got some lo-fi hip hop beats. It's definitely coming out of there. Now real quick, I just tested with my laptop HDMI to the monitor and then the adapter was connected to the monitor and it did not work. So this does not work the other way around. It does work how it was intended to be used from a graphics card to a monitor, not the other way around connected to the monitor and the HDMI running over to the laptop. So that is something I did not know and hopefully that helped you on to the next question. Now, another question that was very heavily asked is, does this work backwards, meaning connected to your monitor and the HDMI from your computer? Now, let's answer that. Like I said before, we kind of already tested that. I got it plugged into my laptop here, running the whole way in the back. DVI-D port, I don't know if you can see that. It's connected and we're running, not at the full 
120 hertz or 144 hertz but we are connected at 1080p 60 fps so yes it does work backwards now another question i got was does this work with a ps4 or xbox one now sadly i cannot demonstrate this for you because i don't own either and i have to go off of what other people say some people said it would work some people said it would not your mileage may vary i sometimes i don't think it will work so i I'm leaning toward about 25% of the time it might work. It might work for you. I don't I don't know. Go and test it out. It's not that expensive, but yeah. If it does work for you, I would really like to know. So if you could comment that down below or something so that other people know, because I can't really test it out for myself. Anyway, the fifth question that I have is kind of the troubleshooting all around. Some people say it won't work, but I have a feeling that they aren't doing something right that uh, that's causing it not to work. So I'm going to list a couple troubleshooting solutions that you can try to see if you can get it to work. And if not, I don't know, comment down below and I'll try to help you. That's all I can pretty much say. Now for some troubleshooting methods, one of the things is the cables. Sometimes they are bent and some of the pins are not in good shape. So I would suggest first go get another HDMI cable and see if it doesn't work. Then it's most likely going to be the adapter or what you're plugging into. One of the things with the adapter, these pens can get bent or touched and dust and debris can get in there and make it so that it won't work anymore. Same with the plug in your laptop or in the back of your computer in the graphics card. If dust and dirt gets in there and it doesn't make a good connection with the HDMI cable or the DVI-D port here, it's not going to work. Same with the monitor. So one of the things is sometimes these actually are broken. Like Chinese wholesale companies will sell these and in shipping, it'll be dropped extremely hard and it will actually break inside or some of the pins gets all messed up and stuff like that. So that could be another cause for it not working. Honestly, it usually works and I had a lot of people say that it does work, but there's a couple, there's a few that say it doesn't work. So it's only a couple of dollars. It's, it's totally worth it if it does work, but if it doesn't, I can see where it's kind of a pain. So I understand your pain and feeling that it doesn't work, but I really don't know much to say. I honestly had no idea if it would even work. And after that video and testing it right here, it does work, but there are some limitations as you can see. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If your question did not get answered, like I always said, leave it down in the comment section. I'll try to help you. But if it did, be sure to leave a comment saying what your problem was and if it, if, how you fixed it or anything like that. And be sure to share this video around so that other people can find this and test it out and also maybe fix their problems with this adapter. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.